guys, Coach DuPont here at Fit Noggin Studios. Today, we are going to build a pillow person. What's a pillow person? Well, let me tell you, it is hysterical. Your family can do it. You can do it with your brother, your sister. Everybody can dress up and put some music on. It's really a lot of fun. The first thing you're going to need, hopefully you can get one. Maybe you have one lying around the house is a pillowcase. Now, it doesn't have to be a king size, like a big one, but that would be better. But if you're small and you're doing this, probably like a standard or a queen size would work. So take an old pillowcase and give it a face. Look at my face. Isn't it silly? You can do big eyes and a nose and a mouth. Mine even has hair. Look at that. So that's the first thing you will do. Make your pillowcase. Now, it's very important for you to try the pillowcase on so that mom or dad can cut some eye holes out because you're gonna have to see and you're gonna have to breathe. So they need to cut a nose hole. So the best way to do it is to put the pillowcase on and then have them cut. So step one, find a pillowcase, decorate it. Step two, Put the pillowcase on your head and let mom or dad cut the hole. Now, that part can be tricky. The way you have to put it on, you're going to need help. And right now, I don't have any help. Just my dog is out there and she's no help. But I'm going to show you how to hold your arms so that the pillowcase can be slipped over your head. Okay? So I'm going to set that down. Your arms are going to have to be just like this. Let me get down so you can see me. So you're going to put them above your head and your hands are going to touch your elbows. Then your parents or sibling will cover you with that pillowcase. But you have to stay like this the entire time. Okay? Just to cut the holes and then take it off. Because what we're going to do next is give ourselves a new look. Okay? So you've got your holes cut. Take your pillowcase off. Next. This is the fun part. Take an old shirt, maybe it's your dad's, maybe it's your mom's. It has to be long sleeved and it has to have buttons down the front. Put the shirt around your waist like I have done and then button, button, button. So the arms of the shirt are actually way down here. Isn't that cool? So you probably only need to do like three buttons. So make sure it's a bigger shirt, not one that would really fit you but maybe moms or dads or big brother, big sister, whatever. So you have your shirt, okay? So you got your pillowcase, you made your face, you cut the holes out for eyes and nose, you took the pillowcase off, you got your shirt, put it around your waist, button, button, button. Now, the next thing, you need a pair of blue jeans or capris. This is how we're gonna put those on. Believe me guys, this sounds very silly, but when it's all done, it is hilarious. I've used it in many talent shows in high school and college, and we won every time because it was so funny. Okay, so look, when you put your pants on, they don't go all the way to your waist. They're only going to go to your knees. Okay, so the pants are at your knees. Then you're going to tuck in your shirt are you are you seeing something here I see it coming together making a really funny looking little pillow person then you're gonna need a belt so shirt pants belt the belt is actually used to hold your knees together so everybody has to put their knees together like this and then tighten that belt Ooh tight as it can go so your knees can stay together all right see that we're tucked in our knees are together now what are we gonna do with these floppy sleeves watch this you're gonna put it in a front pocket and if your jeans don't have a front pocket just stick them inside your jeans like this okay but mine have front pockets so I'm gonna put them in there now your pillow person is ready to go. What are we doing here, Coach DuPont? This is 
actually going to be the neck of the pillow because when you get your head on, all of this part is going to be your face. This is going to be the neck of the pillow person. It's your waist, right? The waist of the pillow person is actually your knees. Can you see that? And so your feet are way down here and it looks like the pillow person has little bitty legs. So go work on your costume and when we come back, we're gonna dance and I'm gonna have my pillow head on. I've gotta go get some help. Maybe my son will help me put on my pillow head. Hmm, see you soon, pillow person.